Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today it's an update video, an update on the Albino Rhino Beer Festival that happened just over a week ago on uh, May 27th, 2017, at 209 Ridge Road North in Ridgeway, Ontario. Ended up having about 1,350 people through, uh, about the same numbers as last year. We thought we'd get a little more, but we didn't. Uh, we did have more more uh, online sales and more pre-sales than before. We didn't get quite as many people at the door. Ended up getting about 650 at the door instead of the usual like eight or 900. So that's that's a plus, I guess. We're getting we're getting more people that want to buy ahead of time. Uh, we ended up upping our donation this year again by over $1,000 with the same amount of people just because people are starting to realize what the festival's for. So some of my vendor fees are a little less money now. Uh, my porta potty guys give me a deal. My ice guy gives me a deal. Um, so, I mean, stuff like that just helps. Uh, we did have two breweries donate some money. One, one brewery donated 300 bucks, and that was, uh, Brimstone. So Brimstone basically waived the, uh, waived the location fee for me. And we had, uh, $550 donated from, uh, Forefathers. So, uh, between those two, uh, that was another $800 added on top. Last year, Forefathers gave 1000 and uh, Double Trouble gave 600 So last year, last year we had $6,600 donated, and we had 1600 of that 6600 given by the breweries. This year we had 900 given by the breweries, and we, we ended up giving out uh, $7,614.40 to the Ronald McDonald House. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's, it's been a bad couple weeks. Um, for me, I'm not going to go into detail now. Uh, I'll be doing some videos about that in the future. Uh, not going into full full detail, but some stuff. But yeah, it's been a it's been a bad couple weeks. So it was it was great to uh, have that work out. I haven't heard any. It's been over a week, and I haven't heard anything from the town. So I'm going to assume everything went well. Uh, we did have an incident with the same person we always do. Uh, right at 7:15 a.m. when we pulled up and started unloading things, he was out there yelling at us. Uh, we also had a little bit of an incident with the hairdresser, Mario, but uh, four of our volunteers went in for a haircut, and Mario Mario loves us again, so that's that's okay. Um, ended up selling over 10,000 drink tokens, uh, so so that's amazing. I, gave, I paid out over $20,000 in, in uh, brewery reimbursements. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's an incredible number for a small beer festival like ours. Uh, we had some food vendors sell out uh, awards. Uh, top Brewer and People's Choice Top Brewer both went to Forefather. So uh, the the patrons and uh, matrons of the festival uh, voted them in, and they also had the most sales. So they won Top and People's Choice. Uh, People's Choice Top Beer went to uh, uh, Anarchy in the Six from Rhythm and Brews. And uh, the Top Food Vendor once again went to the Crazy Canuck. I personally would have given it to. Uh, I personally would have probably given it to the uh, the wandering gourmet, the taco cart. I, I did try something from everybody, uh, except for the hot dogs. I didn't get it one of the pisky pie hot dogs. Uh, but yeah, it it was an intriguing day. Uh, it was a fun day. I did have a, I did have a little bit of an issue at one part of the day, and uh, that issue continues on right now. Um, but yeah, it was good. The AGCO came in near the end. Uh, I knew he was going to come at some point. I figured it was going to be the end, and he came at the end. Uh, I didn't really drink much. I had two samples all day. Um, that's perfectly fine. I don't need to drink. Uh, so I had a good time. Uh, it was a good turnout. Uh, I have, I have Skyman's or, uh, or the Punter's. Uh, interviews up. Uh, the punter was the punter was very very excited to do the interviews. He's not very good on a mic at times. He gets nervous, so he did screw up a few things. I left it all in, just because it was so much fun uh, watching it and seeing his his excitement. Uh, I posted my walkthrough. Uh, Nick from Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews sent me his walkthrough and told me to go ahead and post it. He walked through right at the beginning, so there was only like 30 people in in the festival, so you can get a better look at the way it was laid out. You don't have to see somebody like. Uh, jumping through people and all that, so I'll post that later on. Uh, thank you to everybody that helped. Uh, Chris Lysak in the basement, uh, Chris Lysak Photography, Nick, Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews, uh, all the people from Brimstone, all uh, the other husband and his family, the Pants, uh, the Hazants, um, uh, who else did we, uh, Ken 
uh, the uh, the man child came and he brought his mom and his girlfriend. Thank you very much. He also brought the army. Uh, Scott brought some army too. So thank you very much for bringing Lucy uh, and some other people from his work. Again, thank you for everybody that came and thank you for all the vendors. Uh, we have a, a picture up online that is all the vendors together. We have a picture that's all the volunteers together. Uh, well, not all the vendors, all the vendors we could get. Uh, some great breweries were there this year, new breweries, old breweries, uh, breweries that have never been there before that were fairly old breweries. So it was a great turnout. Uh, I hope that we do it again next year, but I don't know. Uh, it all matters what goes on in my personal life right now on uh, whether or not I can put the time into doing it again, or if I have the time and extra money to do it again. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the Ronald McDonald House. And we're going to go off air now.